Okay, Assalamualaikum. Okay, so this is uh, the fourth video for chapter 10, Dividend and Payout Policy. So in this video, I will show you the exercise for uh, the impact of uh, cash dividend and stock repurchase towards the market price and earning per share. Okay, so uh, I'm using question from FIN 544 December 2018, question 5P. So the information given here from this question, Zikri and company evaluate additional dividend and buy back purchase. So in view of the current earning per share of two ringgit fifty cent and the current stock price is sold at forty ringgit per share, Zikri plan to spend twelve thousand ringgit. There are one thousand two hundred outstanding share by ignoring tax. Revise the impact by calculating the share price and earning per share for stock repurchase and cash dividend. Okay, so five marks. So what are the information that we get here? Number one is from this question, we already have two ringgit 50 cent. So this two ringgit 50 cent is the earning per share. Then we have information about 40 ringgit. This 40 ringgit is the company market price. The 12,000 ringgit, this is the dividend. So that means this is the amount of dividend, whether the company want to pay cash dividend or stock repurchase. So the total amount that company willing to allocate is only 12,000 ringgit. And 1,200, this is number of share outstanding. So the question asks you to find the new market price and the new earning per share after company pay cash dividend and also share buyback. So, before the company pay dividend, okay, the market price is 40 ringgit. And from this exercise in the third video, okay, you can see that this is the summary that in uh, I discussed to you in the third video. So, the impact of the company market price for the cash dividend, the market price will decrease, whereas the stock price will be constant. The market price will be constant. That means there is no effect between before and after company do stock repurchase. Whereas for the earning per share, the earning per share for the cash dividend, there is no, no effect where the earning per share remain constant for the stock repurchase will slightly increase for the stock buyback. So the new market price of the cash dividend, you know that the, the, the market price for cash dividend will decrease by using the formula, the new market price, okay, in order to find the new market price MP1, okay, MP1 refer to the new market price you get from the old market price, MPO that means the uh, before cash dividend, okay, less with dividend per share. So in order to get the dividend per share, formula is total dividend over number of share outstanding. So the total dividend is 12,000, number of share outstanding is 1,200, how you get this figure from the equation, okay. So the dividend per share is 10 ringgit per share. Therefore, you can get the new market price by using this exam by using this figure. So the M the new market price is 40 ringgit less with 10 ringgit. So the new market price is 30 ringgit. Whereas for the stock repurchase there is no effect okay, on the market price where the price will become constant which is the price of the stock will be remain 40 ringgit. Okay, now we go to the earning per share. How you get earning per share? From the formula net income over number of stock outstanding. So before company pay dividend, 
the earning per share is two ringgit fifty cent. Okay, so for the cash dividend, there is no effect on the earning per share. So earning per share will remain as the previous one, which is the earning per share will be two ringgit fifty cent. Okay. Whereas for the stock repurchase, when the company pays stock repurchase, the earning per share will increase a little bit. Okay. So in order to get earning per share, the formula is net income over number of stock outstanding. Okay. Net income bahagi dengan number of stock. Okay. So from this question, there is no information about the net income, okay? But you can find the net income by rearrange the formula in the earning per share. So seeing it is given that the earning per share equal to net income over number of share outstanding, so you can get the net income, rearrange this formula, you get net income equal to earning per share times with number of share outstanding, so the net income earning per share how much earning per share earning per share is 2 ringgit 50 cent okay times with number of share outstanding number of share outstanding is 1200 so you will get a net income by 3 thousand okay rm three thousand okay so here formula for the earning per share is again you, you see that the earning per share is the net income over number of top outstanding for the stock repurchase what you mean by stock repurchase that means company will buy back stock okay buy stock to the public so that means the number of stock will slightly drop okay bilangan stock tu when the company bila company beli saham let's say dulu saham total share outstanding in the market is 1000 when the company buy stock katalah dia beli 10 unit stock why company buy stock because company want to do stock repurchase so dia beli 10 unit stock jadi bilangan stock is no longer 1000 but the stock will be 990 unit okay so you need to find the new remaining stock so the formula will become net income over number of stock less with stock repurchase stock repurchase that mean banyak mana yang company nak beli stock in the public so in order to find the number of stock the company will buy okay the formula is dividend total dividend divided by market price dividend is 12000 market price is 40 ringgit therefore company will buy back stock in the public sebanyak mana sebanyak 300 units okay so net in order to again in order to get earning per share net income bahagi dengan number of stock the net income is 3000 the number of stock dulu 1200 company akan beli balik stock 3000 Jadi tinggal 900. So 3,000 bagi dengan 900. Again, how you get 900? The 900 you get from 1,200 less 3,000. Okay. So kita dapat 3.33. Okay. If you do not understand, okay, or if it is still not a, not a, not clear for you okay you can uh, ask me okay on how to get this figure okay so uh, actually this question didn't ask you to find price earning ratio but I just want to share with you okay so the price earning ratio if the question asks you to find the price earning ratio the impact 
or the new price earning ratio after the company pay dividend okay so how to get the price earning ratio the formula is market price mp market price over earning per share okay so the market price is 40 ringgit earning per share is 2 ringgit 50 cent so the price earning ratio for for stock dividend sorry we look here this is cash dividend the market price is 30 okay then the price earning ratio is 2.5 therefore the price earning ratio is 12 times whereas for after stock repurchase stock buy back even though you see that the market price is higher than the cash dividend but the end the price earning ratio will equal the price earning ratio for cash dividend and stock repurchase will have the same value okay so that's why uh, regardless whether the company pay dividend by using dividend per share uh, by using a uh, cash dividend or by using stock repurchase okay at the end the price earning ratio is equal between these two methods anyhow the impact of uh, the impact of dividend payment okay toward company price earning ratio okay the dividend actually the, when the company pay dividend whether through cash dividend or stock repurchase it will decrease the price earning ratio the you can see in here before company pay dividend the price earning ratio 16 times but after company pay dividend the price earning ratio had dropped to 12 times okay so this is example for cash cash dividend and stock repurchase okay and then the last one okay the last one in dividend payment so we had discussed about cash dividend stock repurchase and cash dividend we had do a calculation and how these two stock repurchase and cash dividend give impact to the market price earning per share and price earning ratio okay so now i want to show you i want to explain to you about another types of dividend which is stock dividend so for the stock dividend we have two types of stock dividend which are stock it is named stock dividend and stock split okay so again when the company want to pay dividend to the shareholder it have two methods either company will pay through cash or through stock when the company want to pay dividend through cash it have two options whether the company want to pay cash by using real cash dividend or by doing stock repurchase another method when company want to pay dividend it can give dividend in the form of stock selalunya kau cakap pasal dividend you tahu bagi dividend dalam bentuk duit kan okey tapi ini company bagi dividend dalam bentuk stock okey ataupun dalam bentuk share so ada dua jenis stock dua jenis stock dividend that the name is stock dividend and stock split for the stock dividend beza perbezaan besar antara stock dividend and stock split the stock dividend okay dia akan bagi dalam bentuk persen okay that mean the company announce that company will pay 10% dividend in the form of stock 10% stock that mean kalau you ada 1000 stock kali dengan 10% maknanya you akan dapat dividend sebanyak 100 unit stock so your stock is no longer 1000 but you sekarang ini ada stock ataupun ada share sebanyak 1100 mana you dapat additional 100 
Seratus itu company bagi percuma sebagai dividend kepada anda. So for the details on the stock dividend and certain example for the stock dividend, okay, you can uh, read in your textbook, okay, page lima sembilan enam sampai lima sembilan tujuh. And example dia pula, you boleh tengok example dekat page 607. Okay. For the stock split, okay. Untuk stock split, nama lagi split. This is based on the ratio. Okay. So essentially, it is the same as a stock dividend except expressed as a ratio. So, for the stock split, it will give effect in the number of common share and also par value. However, the capital, retail earning and total equity will unchanged. So, it will give effect on the number of stock and par value. So, the new par value you get from the old par value divided by stock split ratio. How to get the new common stock? CS1 you get from the all common stock times by common stock stock split ratio but i'm not I, i'm not emphasized on how uh, the stock split and stock dividend will give impact in the company balance sheet okay so how stock split and stock dividend can give effect to the company balance sheet okay you can do exercise by referring to the textbook so please read and do some exercise from the textbook starting from page 597 so the exercise 597 6 or 7 i think this is 597 okay so you can please refer to your textbook and do this exercise so again i just want i repeat for the stock dividend Okay, the company will pay dividend to the shareholder dalam bentuk persen. Okay, kalau you ada satu ribu, company bagi you sepuluh persen dividend dalam bentuk stock. So, that means satu ribu kali dengan sepuluh persen, you akan dapat dividend sebanyak stock, penambahan stock sebanyak seratus unit. Okay, whereas stock split, katalah company bagi dekat you, okay, the company akan bagi you Four, four one. Okay, example. I give here four. So the company announced four, four one. So four, four one. The ratio stock split ratio will be four over one. That means every four stock that you have, setiap empat saham yang anda ada, company akan bagi anda percuma satu saham. So, that additional one stock adalah sebagai dividend. So, kalau you ada 20 saham, berapa banyak yang you akan dapat? Dividend, 4. You akan dapat stock, penambahan stock banyak-banyak, 4. Okay. So, kalau 4 saham, dapat percuma, 1. 8 saham, kita dapat percuma, 2. 16 saham, dapat 3 additional stock. 20 saham yang you ada, you akan dapat 4 unit stock. So, that is stock split. Okay.